a figure from history, a figure from the world of science, Albert Einstein, the greatest scientist of the 20th century and one of the supreme intellects of all time, is best known for his theory of relativity. Albert Einstein was born in 1879 in Germany. He attended a high school in Switzerland and became a Swiss citizen in the year 19th century. Einstein received his PhD from the University of Zurich, but was unable to find an academic position at that time. However, that same year he published his papers on special relativity on the photoelectric effect and in the theory of Brownian motion. Within a few years, these papers, particularly the one on relativity, established his reputation as one of the most brilliant and original scientists in the world. His theories were highly controversial. No modern scientist except Darwin has ever engendered as much controversy as Einstein. In spite of this, in 1913, he was appointed a professor at the University of Berlin, at the same time becoming director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Physics and a member of the Prussian Academy of Science. This post left him free to devote his full time to research, if he so choose. The German government had little reason to regret offering Einstein this unusually generous package. For just two years later, he succeeded in formulating the general theory of relativity, and in 1921, he was awarded the Nobel Prize. For the last half of his life, Einstein was world famous, in all probability the most famous scientist that ever lived. Since Einstein was Jewish, his situation in Germany became precarious when Hitler rose to power. In 1933, he moved to Princeton, New Jersey, to work at the Institute for Advanced Study. And in 1940, he became a United States citizen. Einstein's first marriage ended in divorce. His second was apparently happy. He had two children, both boys. He died in 1955 in Princeton. Einstein was always interested in the human world about him and frequently expressed his views on political matters. He was a consistent opponent of political tyranny, an ardent pacifist and a firm supporter of Zionism. In matter of dress, and social conventions he was a marked individualist. He had a fine sense of humor, a becoming modesty and some talent as a violinist. The inscription on Newton's tomb might be applied even more appropriately to Einstein. Let morals rage wise, there's so great an ornament to the human race has existed.